Hello everybody, welcome to Data Visualization with Python Laboratory. This is an Ability Enhancement course. In this video, we are going to see about program number 4A that is how to plot a bar graph using matplotlib library. Let us see the syllabus, the question, then we will proceed. Here is the question. The question 4A says that Write a Python program to demonstrate how to draw a bar plot using a matplotlib. So for this, we need a matplotlib library. I'll show you how to import it and uh, how to make use of functions which are there in the matplotlib. So let me open the Jupyter notebook. So here, first thing what I'll do is I'll import a matplotlib. matplotlib so in this matplotlib there are uh, uh, sub modules are there sub uh, classes are there many classes for for to you know uh, represent the graph like bar graph uh, or uh, scatter plot or the pie chart we need them um, uh, the py plot sub module so that i'll import it matplotlib dot py plot okay now, if I want to make use of functions which are there in pyplot, I have to use this entire name like matplotlib dot pyplot dot plot dot bar, you know, dot scatter like that. I have to use it instead of that. What I'll do is I'll give one alias the shortcut name for this long name with the help of uh, the as uh, uh, the keyword and I'll give any name you can give. I'll give plt if you want. You can give your name also over there. So import matplot matplotlib dot py plot as a so shortcut name I'm, I have given a plt now if I want to draw a bar graph you know I need uh, the x-axis and uh, the y-axis x-axis what I want to uh, you know, represent in the y-axis there are values I want to represent for example uh, let me take the result analysis okay? so in the x-axis I'll uh, plot the result in y-axis I'll plot that number so how many FCDs, how many first class, how many second class, that I'll plot. So for that, uh, for X axis, I'll take uh, mm, say uh, X results, I'll take the variable called uh, results. Okay, X axis, 12 percent results I'm taking. So in this, uh, this is one list I have created. So here I'll mention uh, FCD, comma, first class comma second class then say a uh, fail then the last one is absent okay so these are the parameters though I want to represent in the x-axis now what is the value for this in y axis, I'll use the uh, numbers. What is the numbers? Uh, like how many FCDs, how many uh, FC and all. Say I'll give uh, um, 25 FCDs, 25 FCs. Say 45 uh, uh, second class. 4 fail, 1 absent, balance, 3 fail, 2 absent is, right? So here how many values are there? 5 values, here 5 parameters are there, done. Now we have a, a 2 list, now I'll just plot this, for that I have to use the library that matplotlib.py plot. For that shortcut, I have given a plt. I'll make use of the function called bar to, to get the bar chart. In this bar chart, what I want, I want to plot uh, this x-axis, comma, and this y-axis values. Then, now, if I want to uh, show this, then uh, there is a function called show. I mean, if you want to display this on the screen, plt dot show. That, that's it. Very simple program. 
I'll just save this and run this. Now you can see you will get the uh, one simple uh, bar graph. So you can add uh, so many features for that. You can reduce the size and everything. Now you can see here. So this is the bar graph. Okay. So FCD, FC, and what is the number? How many uh, FCDs are there? How many everything uh, it is showing here? Okay. Now. Uh, let me reduce the size of this first. It is very big. I'll reduce the size of this before you know, plotting. I'll set the size of, of this plt dot figure plt dot figure. Then I have to give the figure size. Uh, fix size is equal to. I'll use uh, the value say. Uh, 4 comma 2 it is up to you uh, depend like how, how much the size you want you can so now I reduce the size of this then now what I'll do is if you want to change the color of it if you want to change the color of the by default you'll get a blue color if you want to change the color so here we are displaying uh, we have uh, a attribute called color and the value for that is whatever you want you can give the hexadecimal values or you can give the uh, names like green, pink, black or you can give the shortcut as well R represent red, G represent green like that you can uh, give now see here the color is uh, changed ok now uh, what is this I want to you know uh, give the label for the x axis and y axis what, what this FCD indicate indicating so uh, that you can get with the function called x label plt dot x label x label is equal to what you want in, in the x axis so I want uh, um, say results ok now so I'll use for y axis as well y label say I want the uh, numbers result and the uh, numbers then I'll run this now you can see we got the uh, results the label and the uh, numbers yeah and you can give the uh, super label as well that uh, title also you can give if, if you have two more graphs you can give the super label as well now I'll give the title also for this say plt dot title plt dot uh, title I'll give what is this this is the result analysis save this run you can see here this is the title result you can change the location uh, location left right but it will get in the center you can if you want you can change the comma LOC left and right you can give that okay you can you can change the width also for example, I want to reduce the width of these bars. So I'll give a, a attribute called width is equal to like I'll give 0.5. Now you can see here the width will get uh, reduced. Yeah, that also you can do it. Okay. Next, uh, say I want one more graph like this, but uh, that I want uh, that graph in the horizontal format. This is vertical. I want a uh, horizontal. Uh, format so let me take one more graph one more graph like or else uh, I'll give this uh, a section results I want to represent one more uh, B section results okay so I'll copy this I'll paste here So here I will change the name XA, XA section results and uh, YB, uh, sorry YA, here XB, B section result and uh, Y, B section. Then so here I have to change no XA, YA, A. Okay. Now here I will change the numbers, the FCDs are 30 uh, and uh, first class also 30 now 60 
in the 60 35 are uh, hmm, second class the remaining let it be the same thing okay now I got this this I want to plot it I will just uh, uh, plot this should be very careful here I'll just uh, tell you what uh, you have to notice x b and uh, y b now you see here if I run this if I run this it is it is overlapping correct yeah I have to tell where to show okay because two graphs are there right two graphs are there for that what I want is uh, see uh, I, I'll create the one table one table I'll create for example you can just see here I'll just show you like I should tell how many rows I want for example I have multiple graphs like say I have uh, uh, 5 10 graphs I wanted to show it in different uh, uh, cell so like how many rows we want how many columns we want that everything we have to tell for example I have two graphs I want to represent side by side like this here here one graph here one graph that means what I want one row and two columns correct or you want to represent like this that is also fine you want to represent uh, in one column two rows that is also fine you want to represent graph one here graph two here for that what you have to do is you should uh, use a subplot function you have to use a subplot function now after this figure uh, uh, size what i'll do is i'll use uh, a function called uh, plt dot subplot plt dot subplot in this you have to mention how many rows you want how many columns you want i want one row and two columns one row and uh, two columns and you should tell uh, what graph you want to display in the first cell first cell indexing you have to give uh, i'll give one so that means this graph will display at a uh, first cell and the second cell this number you have to change it to two then in the second cell now here first cell i want to place this correct and for this i am giving you x label and y label okay now the second graph where i want to place i want to place in the second cell that is row one two columns and the cell number is two okay so there i want to place uh, if you want to give the labels you can give the label as well x label and y label for the second graph as well so here I am giving a, a result, A section numbers, B section results and B section numbers. Done. Okay, this title also you can give for both result analysis, result analysis. Done. Now let me execute this. So you can see here two graphs we are getting. One is at a cell one, another one is at a cell two. I'll change the color of it for the second graph I'll make it uh, say green okay I got it now see the number is the sum the labels are overlapping right for that what you can do is you can use one function called a tight layout plt dot t-i-g-h-t tight LA VO UT layout tight layout it will automatically adjust you can see here now it is adjusted done now here also you are giving result analysis result analysis you can give together together by combining these two you know uh, graph you can give uh, one super uh, title what I will do is I will remove this title here also I will remove okay I will make this uh, super title SUP super uh, title result analysis I'll run this you can see here now we are getting only one super title for both the graphs uh, yeah the so last thing one what I'll do is I'll just change uh, I'll, I'll change this to I'll make this graph as a horizontal graph horizontal uh, graph for that here we are giving a bar right what you can do is if you write H bar H it will become horizontal I'll just run this 
okay here we are getting one error please notice this bar has got multiple values for the width so here width will not come height will come h e i g h t height height will come now run this you can see here we got so this is one graph this is another graph uh, the horizontal and vertical uh, graph student even uh, if you want you can change the outline color you can put the numbers here lot of lot many things you can do it just explore it if you if you want to fetch a good marks you have to add uh, extra features for your uh, uh, graph and it should be attractive thank you thank you so much